So good to have you with us tonight as we think about the birth of Christ. The story actually begins way back when God created everything, but it wasn't long before Satan used a serpent to deceive Eve and cause her and Adam to disobey God's command. Once sin entered the world, we had a problem we could not solve. So God gave this promise of a deliverer. From now on, you and the woman will be enemies, as will your offspring and hers. You will strike his heel, but he will crush your head. From that day on, all we could do was wait. Every generation wondered if theirs would be the one when the Deliverer would come. Well, the time did come, and God sent his angel to a virgin named Mary. She would give birth to a son, and his name would be Jesus. Mary found it difficult to understand just how all of this could happen. But since the angel Gabriel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God, she humbly accepted the honor and privilege of carrying and giving birth to the Son of God. What a journey it would be to be the mother of the world's Savior. On a starry night, about nine months later, the promise was fulfilled. The Deliverer had arrived. The first ones to hear the news were some lowly shepherds watching their sheep on the Judean hillsides. An angel told them, Behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which shall be for all people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. All of a sudden, a whole chorus of angels lit up the sky as they praised God. In awe and amazement, the shepherds hurried off to Bethlehem. God uses all kinds of people to carry out His will, and this promised birth was no exception. Way back in Rome, the emperor ordered a census, which forced every Jewish person to register in his ancestral town. That took Joseph and Mary and crowds of other people to Bethlehem. It's not surprising that they couldn't find a room in the inn. The only available space was in a stable. So it was there, among the animals, where Mary's firstborn son entered the world. Then she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger. After that first night, Joseph found a house to stay in. On the eighth day, the baby was circumcised and given the name Jesus. Several weeks later, by law, Joseph and Mary had to take Jesus to Jerusalem in order to offer sacrifice. Sometime later, wise men followed a star to Bethlehem and came to the house looking for the new king. They found Mary and Jesus and bowed down before him in worship. With great joy, they opened their treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Their quest was now over, but their journey of faith had just begun. Because of sin, the world has always needed a savior. But no amount of silver or gold can pay off our debt. None of us can be good enough to remove our sin. And we can't make enough sacrifices to satisfy what the law demands. That's why God sent His Son into the world. Only His blood can pay the price. Only He who is without sin could take our sin upon Himself. And only He could be the Lamb of God, the perfect sacrifice that takes our sins away. This year, along with the manger, think of the cross. 
because that's the reason why Jesus came for us. On behalf of Braceville Christian Church, all of us in this year's Living Nativity wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a new year filled with God's